Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn how to write a good thesis statement. So let's start first with a question. What is a thesis statement? Well, it is a sentence that tells your reader your topic, what you think about it, and possibly how you're going to prove it, right? So now let's take a look at the difference between a topic and a thesis statement. Well, a topic is a general subject of your essay. It should be narrow, in other words, specific. For example, libraries are essential resources for communities. Then, a thesis statement is a one to two sentences that tells the reader your topic and what you will say about it. For example, libraries are essential resources for communities and should be funded more generously by local municipalities. Now, let's create a thesis statement from a question. A thesis statement should be your answer to the question asked in your paper, such as this one. Why do we need libraries in our communities? So let's break it down to three points. Topic, controlling idea, and subtopics. Okay, so we have the topic. We said the general subject of the essay. And we said libraries are essential resources for communities. Then, we need a controlling idea. This is your opinion, belief, view, feeling about the topic. Libraries should be funded more generously by local municipalities. Okay, right there we have a thesis. If we wanted to add more, we can add subtopics. These are the areas you will focus on to support your idea. Example, libraries provide immigrants with helpful information about and opportunities to connect with their new communities. So here we have the three parts of the thesis statement. The first one is the general topic. Libraries are essential resources for communities. We said the second is the controlling idea. Should be funded more generously by local municipalities. And the third is a subtopic. They provide immigrants with helpful information about and opportunities to connect with their new community. So if we join them together, it would look something like this. Libraries are essential resources for communities and should be funded more generously by local municipalities since or because they provide immigrants with helpful information about and opportunities to connect with their new community. So, let's take a look at direct versus indirect thesis statement. A direct uh, thesis statement outlines the main idea and the organization of the essay for the reader, right? Instead, the indirect thesis statement introduces the topic, but does not outline the supporting ideas. So the reader must read the essay to learn about these points. So let's uh, check on how to avoid making mistakes. First, avoid announcing the subject of the essay using expressions such as I am going to talk about, this essay will focus on, the uh, subject of this essay is, I think this essay will talk about, etc, etc. Avoid using general statements since they cannot be fully supported. For example, men and women are different. This is very general. The school system is similar everywhere. Okay, this is very, very general. So avoid doing this. Next, avoid including too many ideas. A good essay should talk about only one idea. So studying in groups has many advantages, but there are also disadvantages. It's too broad. So avoid writing like this. 
Avoid using thesis statements that cannot be debatable. They should be argued and supported by the writer. Canadian winters are longer and colder than Italian winters. Well, you know what? This is a fact. This is actually true. <laughs> so it cannot be debatable. Some claims such as morals or religious beliefs cannot be supported with evidence and therefore are not argumentative theses. People who are convicted of murder will go to hell when they die. Well, you know, this is religious belief. You, it cannot be supported with evidence. Claims that are outrageous or impossible are not argumentative theses. They must make a claim that is logical and possible. Politicians are corrupted and should be thrown in jail. Well, this is illogical and is impossible. So, the formula for a strong argumentative thesis. It is good to have a clear template. The following template creates a good starting point. So, this is just an example. Avoiding fast food is good because, or you can use since, fast food diet leads to preventable and expensive health issues such as diabetes, obesity, and heart disease. Or the formula for a thesis with only one point might follow the, this template. It is true that teen celebrities often engage in inappropriate activities and thus should not be considered role models for children. These are two examples, so you can use them as a template. Now, let's practice. Choose the correct thesis statement based on the prompt given. In this paper, I will explore the topic of gaming in education. Okay, so choose among the three. Pause the video. Now that you have your answer, let's check it. Okay, it's C. As a new generation of students enters college, it is time for higher education to use gaming to appeal to students and make, it, or make learning more engaging. So let's try number two. Most states have animal rights laws that are too lenient. So choose among A, B, and C. Now that you have your answer, let's check. That's C. Animal abuse laws in most states are so lenient that offenders face almost no punishment. So stronger, stricter laws are necessary to protect animals. Let's try another one. Our country needs to support organic farmers better. Pause the video and choose among A, B, or C. Okay, let's check. Does B. In order to provide consumer with healthier food options, our government needs to provide the same kind of subsidies to small organic farmers that it offers to large factory farms. Let's try another one. It is about time that we support small businesses better in this country. A, B, or C? You may pause your video. The answer is because small businesses can make such an important difference in a struggling economy, right now our government needs to offer better financial support for individuals seeking to start a business. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have questions, please type them under the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, click on the like button. And you may share the lesson if you liked it. Until next time, bye-bye.